thank you for the school and thank you for my family and thank you for God and thank you for all the world. Tell me about what you're thankful for. I'm thankful for about everything. Can you name some of the things? Well, food, sh shelter, love, family, friends, and especially teachers. Chase, what are you thankful for? Everything and first thing, friends. Second thing, specifically parents. Dear God, thankful for today, thankful Jesus. Can you tell me what you're thankful for? I'm thankful for my brother. <gasps> What's his name? Graham. Oh my goodness. What else are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my mom and dad. What else? My grandma too. Jackson, what are you thankful for? Bass, trout, sharks, catfish. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my nine years of life and just everything I have. And what are you hopeful for? Hopeful that my grandpa has a nice time in heaven. And what do you wish for? I wish to have a world of peace. It's a really good feeling when, um, when you just do something good your um, your heart it starts beating and it makes you feel this amazing feeling that flows through your whole body and you have an amazing attitude which spreads to everyone around you. We're collecting pennies so we can help a, um, build a school in Pakistan and Afghanistan. Everybody helped so much and we ended up getting so much money and helping so many people. And it made me feel really happy that I had been a part of that and that I helped people that are less fortunate than I am. And every time it rains, it rains. Pennies from heaven. Shoopy doopy. Don't you know each cloud contains pennies from heaven? Shoopy doopy. You'll find your fortune falling all over town. Be sure that your umbrella is up, 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 upside down. And it's a sign of the times when even a jug of pennies for a school fundraiser is no longer safe. The children at a Lutheran Montessori school are starting all over on a project because someone stole the money they were collecting to help other students. Action News reporter David Wadden has the story tonight from Putnam Township. We decided that we would get busy collecting as many pennies as we could. These kindergarten students are learning firsthand it can be hurtful when something is stolen from you. How did that make you and your classmates feel? Um, sad. Yeah. Sad that somebody would do that? Yes. Uh, halfway through the collecting, there is a penny thief who took the pennies. It encouraged more people, though, to give their pennies from and we all We contacted over. the news. Yeah, and from all over. And we ended up raising, uh, I think it was $6,000, and that was able to build half of a school. Yes. Okay, why is it important to donate money for Pennies for Peace? Because we have such a good school here, and Pennies for Peace, we want them to have just as good a school as that we have. God is counting on all of us to bring peace, joy, hope, and love to children around the world. And one of the best ways we can do this is by helping to send a child to school. Because we're so lucky here at Light of the World Academy to have such a wonderful school, we've decided this year to help two Mayan children be able to get an education in Guatemala. I'd like you now to meet our two new friends. This is Maria Margarita, a four-year-old little girl who has eight brothers and one sister including a twin brother named Pedro. She lives with her mom and dad, and she'll be starting kindergarten this year. 
And this is Aymar Jorge, an eight-year-old little boy who has two older brothers and lives with his dad and his grandmother. Aynar will be starting third grade this year. I was born in Guatemala in 2003, April 5th. Well, we got them a safer stove and we got them a bed and, and they're really happy about that because what they used to sleep on was just a piece of cardboard. There. The 5K. Well, we do that every year. It's around St. Patrick's Day, and it's called Run for the Gold, and it's this really fun 5K race where lots of people do it. Little kids do it, like adults do it. A lot of people do it, and we raise money for Faith Medical Clinic. What Faith Medical Clinic does is they give like free medical care to people that can't like afford medicine and stuff like that. In our country, we can just turn on the faucet and clean water comes out. They can't do that in Haiti though. The people in Haiti have to walk several miles to find some clean water. And then, they have to carry it back to their houses. Sometimes, they aren't able to find clean water at all. And that makes all the boys and girls very sick. We have to remember that water is life. A man from Howell though, has invented a way that people in Haiti can capture the rainwater that falls on their houses. Every year, people from America go to Haiti and build special gutters on the houses that catch the rainwater. The water then flows into their houses and through a filter, and the people are able to drink it. The name of this group is called Rain Catchers, and this year, our school is going to help raise money so that the people in Haiti can have clean water. And now we're actually, we're making dresses, for, and it's our fashion show, our thankful fashion show. And we're making dresses for the little girls in Haiti, and we're sending soccer shirts and soccer balls for the little boys in Haiti. Joy, 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 overflowing. Love, 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 everlasting and true. This is our gift for you.